بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولا تحسبن الذين قتلوا في سبيل الله امواتا بل احياء عند ربهم يرزقون and do not reckon those who are killed in the way of Allah as dead nay they are alive and are provided sustenance from their lord ayat Allah shaheed Ustad Murtaza Mutahari Ridwanullahi Ta'ala Alayhi Born on the 3rd of February 1920 13th of Bahman 1298 in Fariman near Mashhad to a pious scholarly family After his primary education in his hometown at the age of 12 he starts his religious education in the Hawza Ilmiya of Mashhad in the very tense atmosphere of the rule of Reza Pahlavi, Laanatullahi Alayhi, Mutahari at the age of 18, he moved to the Hausa of Qum. During his 15 years in Qum, he studies fiqh and usul from Ayatullah al Uzma Burujardi. And for 12 years, he studied philosophy of Mullah Sadra, Irfan, ethics, and usul under the guidance of Imam Khomeini and Allama Taba Tabai Rahmatullahi Alayhima. He also sought spiritual and ethical guidance from Ayatullah Mirza Aliyaqa Shirazi who taught Najal Balagha. He got married at the age of 31 to the daughter of his Ustad Ayatullah Ruhani. He was arrested and imprisoned on many occasions in 1970, he was imprisoned in a single cell for signing a circular inviting people to donate to the Palestinian refugees. In 1974, he was banned from having any kind of public presentation which continued until the victory of the Islamic Revolution. Among the best services of Shaheed Mutahari is presenting the pure Islamic ideology through education speeches and books. Apart from Marhum Imam Khomeini, Shaheed Mutahari is the first to recognize the danger of the MKO, the Mujahideen Khan organization and their shifting dangerous ideology and warns from having any association with the group. Shaheed in his statements does mention that his success is dedicated to his father Shaykh Muhammad Hussein Mutahari, Imam Khomeini, Allama Tabatabai, Ayatullah al Uzma Burujardi, and Ayatullah Ali Shirazi, Rahmatullahi Alayhim Ajma'in. Shaheed Mutahari was a warrior, a politician, obedient, and very close to Imam Khomeini from the very beginning. He was the bridging link between Imam Khomeini in exile and his followers in Iran. Shaheed Mutahari was a qualified, dignified mentor, a sincere teacher in the way of purifying the hearts and educating the souls he arrived at the highest ranks of Shahadat. The day of his demise is remembered as the teacher's day, Ruz Muallim. Enlightening books on various topics useful for every age Written based on the needs of the community, 60 of his works have been published in various languages worldwide. Marhum Ustad Shaheed Mutahari recited a few surahs after his Maghrib and Isha prayers and past the midnight got up for his night prayers. Imam Khomeini says, Without any exception, his works are all good. I do not know anyone else for whom I could say all his works are good 
without an exception. Ayatollah Khamenei says, when he visited Mashhad, although he had family and place to stay, due to the devotion I had towards him, and he too had the same, he used to come and stay over at our place. The room he slept in separated from my room with just a door. Before going to bed, he always recited the Holy Quran. At the time of the night prayers, he cried. There are many who offer the night prayers, but those who cry are just a few. Later on, from his old friends and fellow students like Ayatollah Muntaziri, I heard that he from the very beginning performed the night prayers. I still remember Ayatollah Muntaziri speak about his Shaheed friend as such that he used to bring water from the river for his dear friend to perform wuzu for the night prayers. To his university students he repeatedly said, a university is like a mosque, always try and enter it with a wuzu. To one of his students he said, I never enter my class without a wuzu. To his students in one of his akhlaq classes, he was emphasizing about the night prayers. He said, pray a lot for each other in the night prayers, and I want you to pray for me that I depart from this world as a shaheed, a martyr. One of his students says, I once informed him of a friend of mine who is in need, his father in hospital and is short of funds to discharge him. Ustad Mutahari helped him and said, If you find such ill in need, let me know. It was Shaheed Mutahari who prepared the welcome note that was recited when Imam Khomeini returned from exile, which opened as such Ja al haqqu wa zahq al baatil, inna al baatil kana zahuqa, ala inna hizb Allah hum al ghalibu. O Spirit of Allah, O Abraham of Islam, O the destroyer of the idols, O sincere, righteous servant, O soul of the Iranian nation. In a letter to his son he writes, Be very cautious in who you hang around with, as there are many beautiful snakes, and be careful in the books you choose. At least recite a quarter of a juz of the Holy Quran, which will not take more than five minutes of your time. Send the reward, the thawab of this recitation to the Holy Prophet This will grant barakat to your life. In reply to a student inquiring about his daily program, he says, My daily program schedule is all organized. Two hours for my talks time set for my studies, one or two hours to help my children with their school work and play, I do give time and importance to them a lot. If I get extra time, I would love to spend it with my children. <laughs> چقدر تعبیه زیبا و قشنگ و عالی و سریح هست ای مردمی که ایمان آورده اید اجمالا تصدیق کرده اید این پیغمبر را برنامه این پیغمبر را که شما را دعوت می کند به چیزی که شما را زنده می کند این برنامه را به تذیرید ببینید اسلام همش دم از حیات و زندگی میزند این پیغمبر برای شما چی آورده است حیات آورده زندگی آورده است شما الان مرده اید خودتون نمیفهمید بیاید تسلیم این طبیب روحانی بشوید تسلیم این طبیب مسیح آدم بشوید تا ببینید چگونه به شما زندگی میدهد زندگی یعنی که زندگی یعنی بینایی و توانایی تا 
تفاوت یک زنده با مرده در این جهت هست و به هر درجه که, زی... که بینایی بیشتر بشود و توانایی بیشتر بشود حیات بیشتر است ما چرا به خداوند کلمه حی را اطلاق می کنیم الله لا اله الا هو الحی القیوم یا میگیم هو الحی الذی لا یموت چرا ما به خدا میگیم زنده آیا معنی زندگی این است که قلبی وجود داشته باشد و خونی وجود داشته باشد قلب حرکت بکند به این معنا که خدا زنده نیست یعنی خدا که قلب ندارد خدا که رگ ندارد خدا که بدن ندارد و خونی در بدنش نیست که جرایم پیدا کند آیا زندگی یعنی نفس کشیدن هوا را فرو بردن و بیرون دادن نه این معنی زندگی نیست اصلا معنی زندگی هم اینها نیست اینها برای ما شرایط زندگی ما هستن نه خود زندگی خود زندگی بینایی و توانایی دانایی و توانایی خدا از اون جهت به خدا ما میگیم هی و حی مطلق که دانای مطلق است و توانای مطلق است از اون جهت ما به خداوند تبارک و تعالی میگیم هی که آثار حیات بر وجود مقدس او بار میشود رحمت است رحمت است او رحمان است و رحیم است پس زندگی یعنی چه یعنی دانایی و توانایی یا ای الذین آمنو استجیبو لله و للرسول اذا دعاکم لما یحییکم برنامه اسلام برنامه دانایی و توانایی همون برنامه ای که اسلام نشون داد قرنها نشون داد که برنامه دانایی و توانایی برابری پس اون تفکری که اون تر تفکری که نتیجهش دانایی نباشد او از اسلام نیست اون تر تفکری که نتیجهش توانایی نباشد او از اسلام نیست He gave special regard to the prayers He changed his clothes for each prayer Never prayed with his casual clothes His wife says He recited Quran for 20 minutes every day before going to bed He was always in wuzu. He always emphasized to be in wuzu, as being in wuzu all the time is good. He slept at 10 p.m. and was awake by 2.30 a.m. His funeral and his burial. It started at 6 in the morning from Tehran University with hundreds of thousands of people. At 2.30 p.m. that same day the funeral arrived at Qom. After three hours of Tashi, the prayers were said, led by Ayatollah al-Uzma Gulbai Ghani, and was laid to rest in the sacred shrine of Fatima al-Asuma at Qum. Imam Khomeini rahmatullah alayhi followed the coffin with a white handkerchief in hand he wept a lot. Marhum Imam Khomeini was deeply saddened by the martyrdom of Shaheed Mutahari. In another meeting he said, They who killed Aqai Mutahari, Mutahari who never hurt an ant, and I know him for the past 20 years, perfect and with human values, they killed him. They must be asked why, what did Aqai Mutahari do, who did he kill? Was he not a human, a philosopher, a scholar, a jurist? Humanity was killed for no crime. They think by killing Mutahari, This movement will put off and once again the rights of our nation will be violated. The night before his shahadat, when he wanted to get up for the nocturnal prayers, he says, In a dream I saw myself and the leader of the Islamic revolution, Imam Khomeini in Mecca, in front of the Holy Kaaba. The door of the Kaaba opens and a very nurani, bright person appears. Imam Khomeini says, 
that is the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam the prophet gazed and casted his sight on imam khomeini we went to the prophet the prophet hugged marhum imam and kissed his forehead he then turned to me and kissed my lips many times shaken and amazed he woke up and interpreted the dream as such in the near future there will be a great change in my life may 1st 1979 at 11 pm he was returning from a meeting he came out before others and was waiting for them to come he never took any bodyguards with him as he hated these formalities the terrorist was waiting behind the wall and a car ready to flee waiting for him the accursed killer called ustad he with all kindness replied jana yastia he came closer to ustad shaheed and shot him on his head he died instantly تاریختن خون عزیز ما تایید شد انقلاب ما این انقلاب باید زنده بماند این نهضت باید زنده بماند و زنده ماندنش به این خون ریزه هاست بریزید خون ها را زندگی ما دوام پیدا می کند بخوشید ما را ملت ما بیدارتر می شود ما از مرگ نمی ترسیم و شما هم از مرگ ما صرفه ندارید دلیل عجز شماست که در سیاهی شب متفکران ما متفکران ما را می کشید برای اینکه منطق ندارید اگر منطق داشتید که با صحبت می کردید صحبت می کردید مباحثه می کردید لکن منطق ندارید منطق شما ترور است منطق اسلام ترور را باطل می داند او منطق دارد مرحوم امام خمینی in his message says I have lost a very dear son and I am in mourning he was among those personalities who were counted among the fruit of my life wa salamun alayhi yawma walid wa yawma yamut wa yawma yub'athu hayya and salam on him on the day he was born and on the day he dies and on the day he is raised to life wa subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun wa salamun ala al-mursaleen walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin